Let me go over last week's swings. I haven't even looked at any of these, so let me see, other than Walmart. So Walmart, we was calling a one, two, two down on a week. For sure, I know that because I played it. Um, price target was 139.02. It definitely hit that. Um, so we, it, we hit right here. So Walmart definitely played out for the week. Let's look at it. I need to go look at that monthly on Walmart because Walmart has literally turned bullish on me. Looks bullish. We'll see it going into Tuesday, but that definitely looks like a bullish structure. Maybe like a pullback right here, back above the monthly 50. But nonetheless, the weekly played out. The one, two, my favorite. Really, we should have got 138, but still was a banger. All right. And anybody that played that, your actionable signal was right here. Monday, two down, it, in, in a strat scenario. Um, if you're nervous about the trigger, you could wait for retest, the retest. And then went down again, or I think the... I think it might have, um, yeah, definitely retest for sure and went back down. Yes, right here. Then the next from here went down. And then the second half, it, it started going up and stayed there. But it definitely hit target. You would have been out right here anyway because that was the target for the week. And what's next on the agenda? Clack, I think Clack stayed inside. I did play it. Um, and I ain't like how the price action was moving, so I got out of it. But I don't even think this triggered on a week. So let's see. Remember, no trigger. It only gave a little bit. I believe. Yeah. Oh, Clack actually fell. Um, let's look at the day. Okay. So this is the day I played it. Oh, no, no, no. I missed this day. I think I played it this day. It got right here. And when I seen that, it kind of wasn't getting above this area. I was like, nah. But I had got bought it around this area. And I just sold it because I didn't like the overall market. Um, the overall market sentiment on it. But we never got, we stayed inside basically. We still holding crucial areas on CLAT. I understood that it needed to fill this imbalance, but it still got another one at 381. But it's crucial to hold this monthly right here for this. So we got a 2-1, and this is a 2-down, two 2-1, two so it could be 2-1-2 two two up or 2-1-2 two two down. I think I'm going to roll this one over, maybe. I think I might roll this over. It's holding the monthly. The risk to reward seems to be cool. It's a semi. I don't think semis is ready to die-die yet. We need confirmation on that. We don't, I don't see dying. I'll think about this one. But nonetheless, it never, we never got what we needed. So basically, you wouldn't have did anything. But let's just say if you did, you know, and let's see my instructions. Ideal buy zone was the weekly, monthly, 400, okay? So even if you got it, your stop was 39, 394.31 for, um, right here. 391.31. So if you're still in it, you just in it. You just waiting. You the the candle closed above it. Nothing has happened. So let's just say if you took that idea of mind, you just gotta wait for the wait. You know, it's a swing play. It don't sometimes it don't happen in that first week. So you just watching your your area. And if you didn't play it, it'll be something you still could watch. Like hey, Tracy said 394.31 was the stop invalidating area. We above it. I need to look at this again potentially. Um, in the weekly, can we, cause this is a two, one, two measure move down or a two, one, two measure move up. Now let's say if that's why I want to roll this tick over. Cause I love providing tickets that could provide two opportunities for you depending on market sentiment. Cause I already did that last week and I'm going to show you guys, but this can do that. This can, sh this can provide that opportunity. So I'll think about it, but let's keep going. It's just a recap. Um, ADP, um, a potential 2 to reversal up off the broadening zone. Um, the yearly 618 to hold. The weekly to hold. That's your buy zone. 
looking for a retrace to this like like de so what is this adp let's see how that went i know i didn't look at none of these tickets this is my first time seeing them, looking at them okay so inside it held both both of what i um instructed would could hold so this is another one to watch uh, this is the re this is the test area so just like one time, I think DE, we were trying to play that retest and it didn't happen a week, but then it ended up doing it like either a week later. So I may roll this over, but it still look good holding, still look good, just like clap. So even if you bought it, you just hold it. You didn't, nothing happened. You just didn't make no money. Walmart was the only one I think provided money this week. Now let's look at some of our rollovers, rolling over this ticker for potential um, dip buy. BKR, um, as long as they held the 50 is what I explained for you guys to hold. That would be the dip by target 31, 32. Let's see with that. I haven't looked at that ticker neither. BKR. Wow. I should have been looking at this ticker because last week I was interested in this ticker. I played it, but I got out. I should have kept it on watch. I should have kept it on watch. For me personally, I dropped the ball. I hate it. Be those tickets you're not really paying attention to. And I was watching this one last week because I like how it was above all the levels. That's like a good sign for me, especially you know like a little mini cup and handle. Um, so yeah, this was a this was nice. So this Walmart and this provided opportunity. And look at this. Look at this nice clean break. Just from a strat standpoint, breaks come back retest hold it. This is what I was trying to get on open, and open fell me, fell me, and then boom up. Um, so that was nice. Um, I, we're literally targeting this broadening. This is a six. This is a Randy Jackson on a six six month. So really, just so y'all know, if y'all miss it, I want to show y'all. Like, don't be thinking like, oh, I missed it. Um. It, it has room. You just got to find a good entry now. So ideally, we're trying to take it here, 39.77. It ain't going to go go straight there, but it will get there, 39.77. Um, but if we're looking at price story, you already know. So we add a price story in here, and this, and this price story on a bigger. This is a way big time frame, so it takes mad long. So that in itself, 33.34. Now let's go back down, to our, and it lines right up with my broadening. So... I don't even need, you know, this fib, but this, this is a nice one. I'm going to roll this over again, too. Um, this is kind of like the AYX, the ARWs, where they just keep going. You just got to, you know, hold on. So let me give you an example. So this is just beginning because you just don't, don't look. I don't want y'all to be like, oh, my God, I should have been. You still have opportunity. Still have opportunity. Um, I want to show y'all the potential. So this is the potential to this. I'm going to show y'all this one. ARW, um, look at this one. When we was playing ARW, it was um, down here somewhere. Yeah, right here. It was right here, 105. Look where it's at, 135. Of course, we were taking it here. Then it started expanding. And then it, this was the most important area right here. And now we broke that. It's for sure going there. So don't think that you're missing out. Let's see what this is on a quarterly. That was a three. Oh my God, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Three, two, two. That's my favorite. Freaking. I was putting ARW as a um, top 10. Yeah, it was a three, two, two on two different time frames. The quarterly and the six month. I'm a fool. So the, the thing is 135. I'm a fool. How could I have missed that? I think I had too much going on in my head. Okay, ARW, I put that in the um, weekly. I was telling you guys I was going to roll that over, and I did. I rolled it over as much as I can. But if I looked at the bigger picture, I would have kept rolling that over. And AYX. And then, so this one we call from uh, 54, I believe. Yep. And I was calling expansion on this one. Yep. And it did. So, and it went to Target. See how it, that week? closed there no matter what the wick was it closed that's why i always tell y'all watch price action body you know but nonetheless i say all that to say this could be that not this bkr could be those potentials okay
So I don't think you just missed out. You still got a little room to 3462. And then I do expect expansion, but it will reject first and then expand. All right, what was the next ticker? Verizon, let's see. So um, this ticker already expanded through the monthly broaden at the top of the year and pulled back. A solid bounce and hold shows the price is ready to shoot for that 0.50. Let's see last week notes. Let's see what Verizon did. VZ. Oh, Verizon came. Oh, this is a nice dip by opportunity. Verizon came and although it closed below that line, it fell, of course, you wouldn't have took it because there was no action of a single, but it fell the um, 0.50 of last week. So you already knew. Once it fell that, it's coming into the monthly zone. It did hold over the 618, so that is a nice sign. If it breaks below this, then it's definitely coming down um, here. Um, with CPI and direction, maybe it probably continues down. But this is a good level for it to hold as well. Uh, let me see the monthly. Oh, it's still inside. It's anybody's ball game for Verizon. Yep. It's anybody's ball game. I think I'm going to keep this one. Let me type this up. Let me put Verizon on my watch. Because I like how Verizon pays. That's my thing. I like. Um, why? See this? That's what I don't like when they do that. I have to lock my. my Though that's very important. Glad I looked at it. That's probably why I didn't have. That's probably why my price action. Was, look how that changed. Look how that changed. That's what. Oh, oh, I hate that. That's why I got to start locking my fibs. I mean, locking my broadenings because that you see the difference versus it being up here. You can clearly know the price action if you have it right. That would have been obvious for me to know that. No, this is coming down to this broadening, which lines up with the. It's all good. Um, now that I see this, um, we're going to test this, reject, and come down. See how clear I can see price action now that my broadening is correct? Now I know. Up, and then we're coming down. I like this for a down play. For sure. <clears throat> All right, um, and then we looked at AYX. AYX hit my last um, target. The next thing we have to do is build over this broadening. I think Tim um, might have played this and been out, but it definitely hit target this week. That was beautiful on AYX. Like, beautiful. It definitely, look, it went, like, that is insane. Insane. Like, it went way past... So we like 54. Um, what long as it held that, it uh, um, continue up, and basically I ain't have no PT on it because we are in a um, long as it hold, you just swinging it long term, and um, it just as long as we held this 54, which we did. That look at that. Did they have earnings? Oh, they had earnings. That's why that shouldn't shot up like that. So I'm sure nobody played that. But the earnings wasn't the thing. Oh, that it was the after day. It was the next day that got them. Earnings was on the 9th. Yeah, it was the 10th where they... Wait, no, nah, they gapped up and, and fell. They gapped up and fell. Which is nice because now you see where price wants to go. So those are the, way, the ones you kind of like buy the dip when it comes back and retest. All right, well, congrats. So the only bangers we had was Walmart and BKR. Um, but I want to show you guys something. So in the monthly plays, just really quick, because I'm not putting this out. This, VFC. Remember, I put this out for the monthly play. And I was telling you guys, like, um, this ticket have ER. You go wait for it. I tell this ticket is one of those tickets that can provide opportunity on either side. All you have to do is look for expansion or the candle body break below 2896. Let's look at VFC or VF. Yeah, VFC. <sighs> what 
What I said we had to break? $28.96. What happened? Just broke $28.96 and hit imbalance, going to the bottom of the broaden. Like already this one played is playing out. Now and they they hit earnings. So it still wasn't even like, oh, you you couldn't have played because of earnings. You seen that it kept it was up under here rejecting this monthly? That's the move. Down. It's up under it. Down. And even if earnings dropped it, it went up immediately to retest and it came down. And now it's still look at this. This is still coming down. This play was damn near done in in a day or a week. And let me show you why I said either side. I told you I don't like insides. Insides go make three bars. So that's how I knew we could either go up or we could either go down. And that's why I provided the opportunity for either side. And then, so that was the bullish thesis. And this was the um, bearish thesis. If 28.96 price targets is 28.41, 28.13, we We hit them. Boom, play down. I definitely know nobody played this. But it still got room, at least to right here. But if you wasn't in it right here, then I probably would leave it alone. See what it do, what the weekly look like. Yeah. I would just leave it alone to shape up. All right, congrats. Let's see. It was hard this week because of the insides. Um, weeks and I that's um that was kind of I thought that would kind of happen after a big week like we had when you get a big old candle and a big move like that you kind of know it ain't we ain't about to get nothing else like that you, you just know when the slow weeks are there or whatever so if you wasn't a real day trader swing traders just kind of patiently waiting we got some swings but not a lot but congrats, let's get this money this week. Love you all.